Hey everyone. So this is the first video in my Mother32 tutorial. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you're probably seeing that I've done a tutorial series on the DFAM and the Subharmonicon. I got a lot of great responses and great comments from those videos, and many people asked me to continue doing the series and complete the Sound Studio Trinity. So similar to my Subharmonicon series, I'm gonna release these videos as I go. So if you're tuning in in real time, you can expect new videos every few days or so. And if you're tuning in from sometime in the future, they should all be neatly organized in a playlist for you. I'm gonna stick to the same format though, which is making shorter videos rather than one big long tutorial video. I know that's easier for me to learn that way. And so that's how I wanna make the videos. Right now, I've got outlines for at least 16 videos that cover all the basic functioning and layout signal flow. We'll take an in-depth look at the sequencer, the patch bay, adjusting global parameters, putting it into a modular system, and of course, going through some patch ideas. I expect that I'm probably gonna take a few detours along the way, and I might add more videos at the end, so make sure that you subscribe so you know when a new video comes out. So the Moog Mother 32 was released in 2015, and it's been one of Moog's best-selling, most popular synths. In fact, I think it's one of the most popular synths of all time at this point. It was also a big step forward for Moog in that it was a step towards Eurorack. And it finally gave that Moog sound into a patchable synth. So for many people, the mother is almost like an entryway into Eurorack. But whether you're just getting started or curious about Eurorack, or whether you're a seasoned veteran, the Mother 32 has a lot to offer. So if you think about the mother as a bunch of different modules put together in one package, it offers a lot of bang for the buck. The oscillators are great, the filter's a classic, awesome, amazing filter, and it's got a whole bunch of other utilities. So you get a pretty robust set of modules for a pretty reasonable price. Either way, whether you're gonna get into Eurorack or not, the Mother 32 is awesome, and by the end of this video series, you should have a really good understanding of how to use it and what it's capable of. I'm gonna give you some fresh ideas for patching and give you some possible directions in case you do wanna expand it out into Eurorack. If you like pre-made patches, I've got a bunch for the DFAM and the Subharmonicon up on my Patreon page, a handful for the Complete Sound Studio. Those are works in progress, and I'm always adding more patches, diagrams, PDFs, goodies, anything I can think of on a monthly basis. Anything to give back to the people who are choosing to support my channel. I also release some of my music and put it up there available for download to certain tiers. I'd really appreciate the support, I'm not a big channel and it helps offset the cost of making these videos. That's my pitch, enough of that. Let's get started and take a look at the Mother 32. 